Sensations by all time. Hello everyone, welcome to Action Stations Bible Time with me, David, and me, Maynard. Hello Maynard. Hello David. Hello boys and girls. It's great to be back. And we're thinking about stories Jesus told. That's it. We've thought of quite a few, haven't we? Yeah, from the Bible. But it's great to find out the stories that Jesus told because they're special. They are special. They're fun stories that are great to remember. But also, they've got special meaning about Jesus. And about following Jesus. That's what Christians believe. That's it, Maynard. So can you remember what we did last time? We did a story about two men. And one of them thought that he was very special and didn't need any help. And the other man knew that he did need help to know God. Yeah. So what's today's story? Well, today's story has got something to do with food. Lots of food. Oh, well, I like lots of food, David. Yep. It's about a banquet. Oh, a feast. Yes, a feast or a banquet. You're going to read it then, David? Sure will do. Bye-bye, man. I'll see you later. Hi. Here's the story from Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning at verse 16. Jesus said, There was once a man who was giving a great feast or banquet to which he invited many people. When it was time for the banquet, he sent his servant to tell his guests, Come, everything is ready. But they all began, one after another, to make excuses. The first one told the servant, I have bought a field and must go back and look at it. Please accept my apologies. Another one said, I've bought five pairs of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Another one said, I've just got married and for that reason I cannot come. The servant went back and told this to his master. The master was furious and said to his servant, Hurry out to the streets and alleys of the town and bring back the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Soon the servant said, Your order has been carried out, sir, but there is room for more. So the master said to his servant, Go out to the country lanes and roads and make people come in so that my house will be full. I tell you that none of those who are invited will taste my dinner. We're going to play Pictionary. I am going to draw magically some pictures and you've got to try and guess what they are. Now, it's not always easy because I'm really bad at drawing on the computer. But here we go. They're all to do with the story, the Bible story we've just heard. Here's the first. Here we go. Something that happened right at the beginning of the story. Something that the master did, the man who was running the banquet. And maybe he gave this to his servant. Now, I can't hear what you're saying, so you might have to just think what you think this is in your head. Think, what do I think this is? Hmm. Maybe you've got an idea. What is it? <gasps> it's a list of guests. Do you remember at the beginning, the man uh, he had a list of who he wanted to come to the party? <gasps> What's this? Something else from the story. Hmm. It's a, something that gave somebody an excuse, a reason why they didn't want to go to the feast, to the banquet. What is it? It's a field. The man said, I've got a field. I can't come. That's a crummy excuse. Oh, well, here's something else. What is this? I think this is not quite my worst drawing of this bunch. But anyway, <laughs> what do you think this might be? Is it an ant? What could it be? It hasn't got enough legs to be an ant. Oh, there are two of them. What are they? I'm sure you've guessed by now. You're probably yelling all over the class, although I'm sure you're very good and not yelling at all. It's two oxen. They're oxen, like cows with horns. Another excuse someone gave not to go to the party. Oh, what's this? What am I drawing here? Something else from the story. I wonder if you can work out what it is. This is my worst drawing of the bunch, I think. Um, 
if I did this of you uh, one day, you think, I don't want him as my artist. It's one of the other excuses that the people gave not to go to the banquet. <laughs> I don't think you'll get it from the drawing. Perhaps you can remember the story. It's a wedding. Someone says, I've just got married. I can't come to the banquet. OK, one last picture. I don't think one's too bad. I think this one you might get towards the end of the story. That's supposed to be a tree. There are more trees in this picture. But what's the, what are the trees along? What is that? Something when the, the banquet wasn't quite full. So the man sent his servant out again to the country roads and lanes to invite anyone to come to the banquet. There we go. Country road. How many did you get? Did you get all five? Well done if you did, because my drawing wasn't that great. To help us think a bit more about that story we, that Jesus told, we're going live to our special reporter live on the scene. Here he is. Hello, David. Hello, David. Great to see you. It looks like you're at a party. Yes, we're waiting to have a big meal together. It's a big celebration. Is that a banquet then, like in the story? Yes, I suppose you could say that. A banquet is a meal, but it's a special big meal where lots of people are invited. This is a banquet. It looks like you haven't had trouble getting people to come along. You're right. There are lots of guests here. In Jesus' story, the people who were invited to the banquet didn't want to go. They kept making excuses. One had a field, another had oxen, another had a wedding. What's it all about? David, the banquet in Jesus' story is a picture of knowing Jesus and being God's friend forever because of Jesus. That's like a very special banquet. Anyway, lots of people don't want to bother knowing Jesus and being God's friend. They're more interested in other things. What, like a field? Well, perhaps one person is more interested in owning lots of things rather than knowing Jesus. And the oxen? Maybe another person is more bothered with the job that they're doing or with being the best at sport or the best at school rather than knowing Jesus. And the wedding? David, all these things are great things, but sometimes they can stop people being bothered with God. In the story, the man sent out and got people from all over the place in the end. That's right. Jesus is saying that it doesn't matter who you are. God is interested in you. You're invited. That's what Christians believe. The thing is, what will we do about it? Will we be bothered or will we make excuses? That's a really good question, David. Thank you. No problem. See you again, everyone. Bye. Bye. So, Maynard, there's another story that Jesus told about a banquet. Oh, a feast. Dinner. Yeah, with lots of people. Very special. And like the other stories, it means something about knowing Jesus and knowing God. Yeah, some people don't want to bother with knowing Jesus and they think they've got better things to do. Yeah, like playing computer games. Or doing lots of sport. Or working really hard at schoolwork. Well, that's a good thing, David. But sometimes it can be used as an excuse not to bother with Jesus or God. Yeah. Do you know, David, I can't think why you want to make an excuse. What do you mean? Well, knowing Jesus is so cool and great. I wouldn't ever want to make an excuse about that. That's what Christians believe. We think he's what like treasure, like in one of those other stories. Yeah, he's that good. That's what Christians believe. Yeah, great. Should we do a song? Let's do a song. Uh, well, I'll do a song. Yeah, and uh, boys and girls can join in with the actions. If you like, you can join in with the actions. 
And this song is about one of those reasons why Christians don't want to make excuses about Jesus because we think he's great. It's called Jesus Doesn't Change. Yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls, it's me, Robert, who builds. And uh, I just quit hello today because I want to advertise something that we're doing here at St Lawrence. It's not about buildings or windows or falling over lich gates. This is about holiday club. Yeah, holiday club. It's going to be, we hope, at the end of the summer holidays, Tuesday the 24th to Friday the 27th of August. And uh, you can go online and find out more about it or tell your grown-ups. It's at stlm.uk slash holiday club. Nice and easy to remember. Just go to the church website, stlm.uk slash holiday club. Boys and girls, it's going to be great fun. I might even be there. Bye. So, there we go. The story of the great banquet. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I want to give Jesus an excuse. I think he's great. <laughs> Thanks, Maynard. I hope you've had a nice time, boys and girls. And I look forward to seeing you another time. Bye. Bye. Action stations. Oh.